Okay, so I'm going to start off with, of course, the environment. And the environment if it is the Ace of Wands. That's awesome. This is about a new career, a new venture, new activity in your life, which you're passionate about, the birth of a baby. It represents force of life, the Ace of Wands. So for you all, for this to be in, in your environment, so many of you all might be... Uh, opening up a new store that just came to me or some type of venture partnership with someone, uh, new ideas and you're putting forth those ideas into creation. But you have a lot of imagination. Your imagination is stirred and you feel very passionate and playful. I'm getting that a lot of you are feeling very um, playful and I feel like it's because, you know, we're coming into the springtime and I think you're feeling the the uh, the summer, the the warmth of the summer, possibly the heat of the summer, no matter where you live, but it's causing you to uh, want to see the sun and get inspired by that. Some of you may be, you know, sun babies. I know you're Sagittarians, and of course you're born uh, December, December, January. But I do feel like a lot of you like to be outdoors and play. So this will be helpful to you to kick in the good old imagination and the intuition. This bird is a wren. And the wren symbolizes activation and adaptability. So it flutters around this wand. And it's wanting you to be open to new possibilities. And be able to adapt. If it, quick inspiration comes your way or an intuitive hit act on it or at least you know take note of it don't blow it off these cherries are for hope and creativity so there's a lot of a lot of good around this mid month for you guys Sagittarius let's look at the next card and this is in your challenge position which is interesting because it is another ace it's the ace of a things which is the same of ace of swords so normally this card represents victory um, and energy that can be applied in whatever field of life that you desire. There's strength and purpose in a field. But where the uh, challenge is, for me, it feels like for you guys that how to put this creative, imaginative life force, or it could be this venture uh, into into play. How do we put all the ideas together? If there's a health issue, that might be part of it. Maybe some of you all have experienced delays in your health. Um, some of you, I'm getting your feet. Uh, so if you've uh, been playing some sort of, uh, I'm getting like soccer or kickball or something that has to do with the feet but if you've had surgery or you're having problems with your your toes swelling something of that nature ingrown toenail um it could be part of your health that's that's delaying it it doesn't feel like a huge delay for most of you but it does feel like that you you're wishing things could be different because you're almost there you're almost to the goal. Um, sports are coming up. So, you know, you want to be the goalie. You want to be the person who makes the extra point. But right now you're uh, you're in a position where there's more planning to do. There's more resolution of ideas that have come together from you as well as other people. And you all need to come up with an outcome that's that's victorious for everyone because there can be a little bit of tyranny or uh, leadership that is out of control and this can cause of course obstacles and hindrance so you know the tyranny whoever that person is and if it feels like it's being you and you're in a group situation then you know you might want to take a, a look at yourself and see if that's you that's that's acting out of the norm. That's that's just like, well, I'm 
you know, I have all these great ideas and I'm ready to put them forward and, and too bad whatever you all do or don't want to do. But it just, it feels like that could be the case. If it is a birth of the baby, I feel like with this particular card, some of you may feel a little bit ungrounded after your baby. Uh, you may feel a little bit like, wow, I've just had this child. Uh, I wasn't ready for this. Life doesn't teach us this so very much, does it? I mean, we we normally don't go to classes for it. Well, sometimes we do. But it's not taught from an early age. So I feel like there could be some like, wow, we brought the baby home. The baby's beautiful. Looks great. Um, we're, but we're up at night. The baby's crying. It's keeping us awake. And this is a challenge to get through the everyday part of life. So you could fall, it could fall into either category, either category. It's interesting how you have two aces though. There is force. There is, um, recognition of loved ones in these two cards. There is your wanting to take action instead of inaction. You're wanting to, be assertive. Yep. I mean, that's what action is. All right. Interesting that those two came out. I find that very interesting. In the unexpected is a really positive card. It is the Four of Wands. And the Four of Wands usually symbolizes to me a rewarding conclusion to a job, to um, a project, to a creative effort. And that you're celebrating the, the, the achievement. You're enjoying the fruits of the labor. See how there's the four wands right here? So these are like, this is like a gateway. Doors that are open for you. You know, here's, it's like door number one, two, three, four, actually almost five. But, you know, we're going to go with four. Four is the card of foundation. Four is the card of building your structure and feeling grounded, enjoying the outdoors, but also feeling good about your home, your family. So it might come up that you are celebrated at your work. You're celebrated at home. Uh, you feel you know a little bit cozy with your partner because this also indicates two people that are enjoying the their, their achievements, the fruits of their labor, like I said earlier. It could be a wedding or a party, a family get-together. And, you know, it can be both with work and family combined. And if you look at the way they're dressed, they're pretty casual. They're fairly casual. So it's it can be a party, um... But I feel like you're really wanting to go with the flow. It might actually be a party that is um, more like a, uh, you know, a ski trip or celebrating with, you know, family around the water, renting a boat or possibly going on a cruise or doing something that is active and that you can enjoy and take some downtime and, um Feel, feel the achievement, feel the happiness, the celebration. Because with these wreaths, there's always happiness, there's always joy, there's always celebration. All right, so this is the unexpected. This may come up unexpectedly for you guys. It might be that you, um, towards the end of April, why do you hear that thunder? It's we're having a storm today. It's, it's actually kind of cool. Uh, as long as it doesn't hail or, to, or tornado, I'm doing good. But um, I'm in, in Texas, as you guys know. So it, the unexpected could be that, you know, you're invited to go on one of these destination plans. Or the unexpected might be that, yes, there is a destination wedding and that you're staying for extra time because you want to enjoy your own free time. You want to enjoy some, you know, some beach time on your own or with someone you love. And because you've, you've worked hard, you've earned some extra income to do that, you're able to do so. 
I keep getting the word manipulation, and so I'm not really sure if this is someone who's in your family. It feels someone close to you. It does feel like a family member. So just kind of watch out for anyone wanting to control your schedule, um, wanting to control the group schedule if you're if you're in a group, uh, saying that no, let's let's all be together. If you want to go out on your own and enjoy and splash in water or take a hike or get your nails done or get a, a massage, you know, do what's good for you, of course. That's the unexpected. That's a fun card to come up for the unexpected. All right, and your last card, Sagittarius, is the outcome card. And the outcome card is, in this deck, the High Priest, which is the same as the Hierophant. And the Hierophant card has to do with conformity, um, group identification. And this could be in a religious or a social structure. And it's interesting, I was just saying about this social structure here. So it might be about you drawing lines, drawing your boundaries with people um, in a certain situation. Like I said, you may need that time to uh, refresh, rejuvenate towards the end of the month and you want to claim that time that's yours. As you can see, this, this card, he's he's stirring up some magic here. He's paying attention to the, the heavens and the spiritual, you know, the sun and all. But it infers organization to avoid financial loss. So sometimes in the cards, it can it can mean that. So it might mean that the outcome is that you are really paying attention to your um, your finances in a group situation. It might mean that you're paying attention to your own um, spiritual essence and you feel happiness and you feel encouraged and you feel a joy around doing so. Because he has his back to these two here. He's now gone on his own. He's now separated himself from, from the pack. He may be joining in an esoteric organization, or it could be a real organization, but it does feel like you're moving past this situation here, this group of people, and you're... Um, you're coming up with your own rites of ceremony, with your own peace with yourself, with um, your emotions. Your, some of you, your emotions, you're working on those and wanting to feel more calm. And that would be the outcome. I'm going to look into my crystal. I just recently purchased this crystal. I'm really loving it. It's, it's a gazing crystal from Brazil. Well, lots of birds. Interesting, because we do have one, two birds in in the uh, the cards. And the birds, for me, stand for a higher vision, expansion, but seeing things from a different perspective. Okay, so this very well could be what this, this Hierophant card is. Seeing your life, seeing your money, seeing yourself from a higher perspective. All right, let's pull some clarification cards. Pull a couple. Well, here's the uh, King of Wands, and that's probably you, Sagittarius. That is a fire sign. That's a, the King of uh, Wands is someone who's ready to take action. He's very creative. He's um, can be an intuitive or someone who's uh, very creative, instrumental in making things happen because he's... He's passionate about them. I feel like that's that's you. You're you're wanting to go on this journey of life, and you're ready to you know feel your way inside who you are again. I know Saturn's been in your house, so you're like, yeah, I need some balance though too. The Temperance card comes up. It's called the Sidhi in this particular deck, but that just indicates that yeah, I, I'm I'm looking for balance between. 
my ideas, how to and passion, how to put these into action, celebration. You have really a, a wide swath of a, a spread here this particular two weeks. Because at the end be, at the end becomes a enlightenment around that. Yeah, you're taking some time out. Four of Wands indicates you have some rest, relaxation, vacation maybe. Some of you are putting your ideas into action. You will be sending out resumes or you will be... Um, this is a, the Page of Wands. So there's news about uh, conformity or working with the group dynamics that's going to make you happy. Wow, lots of... Lots of wands, you guys. You have the ace, the king, the page, and the knight. <laughs> so the only court card you don't have is the queen. Interesting. A lot of visionaries out there. Good for you, Sagittarius. Oh, my gosh. Well, interesting. Look what came up next, the queen of wands. I'm almost speechless. She did come up in reverse. She came up last, and she came up in reverse. So it's telling me that, you know, this the nine is about moving forward with your action, but the queen comes up and says, no, wait a minute. I'm feeling like there's a little bit of feminine intuition, feminine uh, action that needs to take place first. You can't just steamroll your way. <clears throat> That's not going to work for you guys. There needs to be a little bit of... Um, softness in your communication with other people. We are in Mercury retrograde, so that probably would make sense. All right, because she came up in reverse, but what's interesting is the knight, the queen, the king, where are all of them, and the page, and the ace. Pretty amazing cards. All right. So let me know in the comments below what's going on with you, Sagittarius, towards the mid to the end of, of April. I'm going to add these up and have one and one is two, four, six, and five is 11. Well, of course, it's a master number 11 of service, of shining your light. As I say, 11 life paths. Or if you're born on the 11th, you're like a lighthouse. So shine your light. All of those court card wands came up. There's the foundation for you to do so. You're earning your stripes. 